Hi, it's Jacqueline with Skin Perfect Spas Academy and Color Me Perfect Cosmetics. I wanted to share with you today a way to do an exfoliation treatment from home for all of us that are homebound right now in this crazy time. It is so important that we can still take the best care of our skin. So I thought I'd show you a couple tricks that we do as estheticians at home or other people that we recommend these treatments to to keep their skin in the best condition possible. So I'm going to start step by step. I have kind of like everything laid out and obviously you'd be at the bathroom sink most likely. Um, of course, I have my little mini bathroom sink set up here, but then this way it's gonna show you easily which steps to do. So this is going to give you the exfoliation for the stratum corneum, which is called the dead skin layer, and that's gonna reveal brighter skin. All right, so here we go. Step one, of course, we wanna cleanse our face. So I have some cleanser right here, which I am using our skin recovery cleanser. And I'm gonna just take a little bit in my fingertips and I have my little metal bowl that is like my pretend sink here. And I'm gonna massage into my fingertips and then I'm gonna massage the cleanser into my skin. Now you can kind of see it like foaming up. So this is really nice when you can use the third and fourth fingers and just really, really massage. A lot of people don't really take proper time to cleanse their skin, but if you're doing exfoliation, it's so important that you are getting as much of oil, dirt, bacteria prior to exfoliation so you're not pushing that deeper into your skin or even makeup. So I have no makeup on, so that's not gonna be an issue. Now, for people who do have makeup on, I would recommend what's called a double cleanse so you're gonna cleanse twice just because the first time you do the cleanser, it's gonna remove makeup. The second time it's gonna remove dirt, oil, bacteria from your skin. So now I have the skin chamois. These are things that you can buy in different local drugstores. And I, it's very gentle. It's great for sensitive skin. So I like to remove the cleanser with the chamois, it feels wonderful too. You just gotta let chamois, they, they dry and they get hardened, so you just have to let them soak in water before you use them. But it's very easy to cleanse off or remove all the cleanser off my skin. Okay, make sure you always get your jaw and all the way back to your ears. We notice when we dermaplane our clients, they usually miss that area. Now, I want my skin still damp. I don't want it completely dry because now I'm gonna bust out a razor. Now I buy disposable razors. This is a great way to mimic dermaplaning when you cannot come in for dermaplaning service. I always recommend using the disposables so you can throw them away so they're sharp as possible. Um, do not, do not, do not try to use a scalpel blade or anything at home, only with these razors. Um, I'm gonna dip it into the water and then I'm going to do my method of dermaplaning, at home dermaplaning. So notice, I'm not using the cleanser or anything, I'm just dampening it, and I'm going in the direction with my hair. So I'm not going against, I'm going with. And this is nice to get this like vellus hair off our face, and it's not near as sharp as a scalp or a 10 blade that we use when we dermaplane, but it's still safe enough for you to do at home. Don't use the razors that are made to like shave your legs because they have all that shaving cream and different, um, different things around that blade, which makes it really difficult, I think, to try to get a clean blade. You almost wanna do like men's razors are even pretty good. But again, I like the disposables. So any fancy razor, I would recommend not doing it. So I'm doing my upper lip again, I'm going down and then I'm gonna go crossed, okay? I'm gonna go across my face. Now, make sure you're not taking your hair off. We do need every little bit of hair we have around our hairline. Okay, so now the tricky part is your forehead. Now, it depends on the shape of your forehead. I'm gonna go up like this. I'm gonna stay very far away from my brows because I do not need to lose any more hair from my brow above my face. And then I'm going to just kind of like taper as I'm coming near my hairline because again, I don't want to shave any hairs off my hairline. Okay, so now we have kind of dermaplaned 
home version of your face. Okay, so I'm gonna use my chamois again. I'm gonna rinse any excess water or cleanser off. And then voila, Bella's hair. Now, for people who do have those like really deeper fine lines, you might need to stretch your lip a little bit or you can open to do corners or you can pull in to do the bottom or pull down on your upper lip. There's different ways to do it. Just make sure you're very careful with the upper lip because that's easily an area you can get cut. And of course, when you saw me do my chin, I went sideways and then you're kind of tapering around. Okay, so next to the exfoliation step. So one of the great um, exfoliation gloves you can use, if you have these at home, if not, you can just use your fingertips, but this is nice so then you're kind of, has you have a glove that has a little scrubby feel to it, but then also you can use our scrubs as well with the scrubby glove. Okay, so I have two different scrubs. I have our Refine and Renew scrub, which is right here, and this has a thermal warmth to it, so it's gonna create thermal heat. And that's really nice because it's helping melt the dead skin. And then I have our clarifying brightening polish that actually has glycolic and salicylic acids in it. So it's kind of like a scrub and a light peel all in one. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the clarifying brightening because I want a little bit of a peel, light, light peel, a little bit more advanced exfoliation. For those people that do not want advanced exfoliation, I would go with the refine and the renew. So I've put some of the scrub on my fingertips and then I'm gonna just do circular motions and scrub starting with cheeks and then also utilizing an upward circular motion, go around the chin, upper lip, get in those little crevices, nose, going up the nose, it feels so good. And I'm telling you, these little scrubby gloves makes it kind of fun, especially because you can do it in the morning before. Um, I like to do mine in the shower a lot, or you can also do them do this in the evening. Okay, for all of you who love to scrub, warning, twice a week, max, don't do this all the time. In fact, if you're gonna do the razor part, once a week. But for those of you that get very scrub happy, this is not something you wanna do daily unless your esthetician has told you otherwise and you have like an issue like hyperkeratosis or you get easily dead skin buildup, then that's a different story. But once a week with razor, twice a week with, with, um, twice a week with scrub and one scrub with razor. So, but just if you get too aggressive with this, you can impair your barrier and then you're going to have dry, flaky, irritated skin. So remember, less is more. And you can always check with your esthetician to see what he or she recommends. So now that I finished the scrub portion, I'm gonna go ahead and remove with using my chamois cloth, any scrub granules. So the chamois work really well because they pick up the granules from the scrub. And of course I use the scrub clarifying brightening polish that has alpha hydroxy acids in it as well. So I'm removing everything. Okay, now that all of my granules are removed, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and I'm gonna kind of just lightly dry my face off. Now, if you have a nano skin at this step in the skin exfoliation treatment, you can go ahead and do a setting that's gonna help pull out impurities in your skin. It's using magnetic positive and negative ions. And I'm gonna use just, it's called Vitamist, which is a, like a facial toner. And I'm gonna apply it on my nano skin device and then attach the ring. And the setting that I'm going to be using is going to be on the beauty, but I'm gonna to go to the next step. So it's radio frequency ionization. So I'm pulling out any impurities in my skin. And then I'm gonna hit start. So if you don't have a nano skin device, you can totally skip this step. If you do, might as well go ahead and use it. 
And this is where I'm gonna focus on my T-zone because it's magnetically pulling out impurities, oil, dead skin, anything like that. And then I'm just doing it in my T-zone because my cheeks really don't need it, but it just depends on your type of skin. So I would go ahead and do this for two minutes and 35 seconds because that's two minutes and 45, right around there. You don't need very long. So let's go ahead and say I finished this up and I'm gonna go to the next step. The next step is a liquid exfoliation. So I'm going to use the different pads we have available for retail at Skin Perfect. So I'm gonna use refining pads because it has lactic, salicylic, and glycolic in it. You can also use blemish control pads or advanced blemish control pads. So I'm simply gonna use one pad. I'm gonna peel one off and then I'm going to go ahead and do circular motions. And this is like mimicking a light peel. So this is fantastic for like mimicking a little mini exfoliation treatment. Like when you come into our spa, this is just a safe version to do at home. So I'm gonna only go one even pass all over my skin. And once I'm done with that, that's it. I toss that, put my lid back on. And now the last two steps of this treatment is hydrate and protect. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a hydrating serum and I already have it poured out in my little magic dish and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and then do circular motions, massaging this into my skin. And then I'm also gonna use a moisturizer called Skin Recovery Hydrator. And the Skin Recovery Hydrator is gonna be perfect. It's our post-care treatment. So it's what we recommend for you to use after a treatment. It's been perfect for three days post-treatment. And this will be great also for post your at-home exfoliation treatment. So I'm going to go ahead and massage that in. Circular motions very gently. And voila! I have now done an at-home exfoliation treatment that can mimic the treatments that you get at our spa. That's a great way to maintain healthy, bright skin. I hope this helps Stay well, and I'll see you next time.